Good afternoon, I'm Jake Skolak. And I'm Miranda Johnson, and this is Wolfpack News for Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. If you are a senior who would like two years of your education at Wabonzi Community College paid for, you may qualify for the Seal Gustafsson Scholarship. You have met two of the following, a 3.0 minimum cumulative GPA, 23 ACT, or an 1140 SAT, or are in the upper 20% of your class. Stop in student services for an application or visit wabonzi.edu backslash scholarships. The lost and found in the vending machine room will be cleared out at the end of the day today. Students need to pick anything up that they want to retrieve or it will be donated. The application deadline for the Italy-Greece tour and World War II trip with the Travel Abroad Group in June is, in June is today. Please see Ms. Stanich, Mr. Conrad, Ms. Strass, or the website for more details. The National English Honor Society works to promote literacy and creativity in the English subject. As a part of this initiative, Jacob is going to read a book review created by a member. Chilo Yamas read Native Son by Richard Wright. The story takes place in Chicago during the 1930s. It is about a young African-American man named Bigger Thomas who finds himself in a lot of trouble when he ends up killing a young white woman. The charges pressed against him are unfair and bigger fights to save in his life in a time period where African Americans are, were treated unfairly and prejudiced heavily by society. Chilo thought Native Son was a very good book and had him very interested in Bigger's story until the end. He highly recommends it to other readers looking for a book that explores the effect of racism on people during that time period. Thank you, Jacob. The OE Film Festival will return in March. As a fundraiser, they are hosting another 24-hour film competition. Competitors get three criteria that must be included somewhere in their films, and the film must be made and submitted within 24 hours. The cost is $10 per team. There is no limit on how many people can be on a team. However, there must be at least four teams to run the competition. If interested, contact Mrs. Allen in J217 for more info at sallen at sd308.org. For more information regarding the festival in March, keep an eye on their website, oefilmfest.weebly.com. Please help the Cosmetology Club spread some holiday cheer at the Tillers Nursing Home this season. For just $12, you can help adopt a grandparent, so each resident will receive a specially wrapped gift of a hand lotion, including peppermint candies, an ornament, and a holiday card. Many of the residents will be alone this holiday season, and to make sure that everyone feels loved and remembered, the Cosmetology Club members will be hand delivering and visiting the res residents before Christmas. Please visit, please see Ms. Neslahowski in J110 or a club member to make a donation today. The OEHS Legacy Step Team is hosting a History of Hip Hop Showcase and Talent Show December 17th from 4 to 7 p.m. The show is dedicated to the evolution of hip hop and its tremendous impact on expression and step. Tickets are $5 in advance and $8 at the door. Children five and under are free. Students can audition for the talent show on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 4 in room F133 starting, at, starting November 29th. And now it's time for sports. Here's Kyle. Join the Asagui's High School cheer team for their first Top Golf fundraiser event. The event is December 4th from 1 to 4 p.m. and will be filled with three hours of golf, lunch, and live and silent au auctions. Also, there will be several vendors there to start your holiday shopping. You can buy tickets online at oehscheerfundraising.weebly.com. The cost is $100 and includes three hours of golf, lunch, and goodie bag, and much more. Please see the website for more information. That's all for sports. Now back to the Anchor Day. 
That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Jake Skolak. And I'm Miranda Johnson. Join us again Monday on East TV. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day and a happy Thanksgiving. Gonna